Hey everybody, welcome back. This is day seven, January 7th of 2023 and uh, day seven of World Carnivore Month. So come along with us and we're gonna show you everything we eat in a day as carnivores. First stops, is Starbucks. Coffee. <laughs> coffee, I need a coffee. I, I thought I had some left over from yesterday, but I actually didn't. I had about a swallow and a half. I've so. got um, my shake. We do have the top down, but it's 56 degrees. So Julie got a hot coffee today. Yeah. Um, but it feels nice when you're in the sun. I think you've talked about this shake I have, yeah. about every day this week. Same about old, same day. old. He, he, <laughs> carnivore. He I don't still stray can, too much. <laughs> he's a carnivore and still doesn't get as much protein in his diet as he wants. So he supplements with a protein shake. And you know me. Got to have my morning coffee. Okay guys, I just got out of my flute lesson and while I was at my lesson, Michael went to three different grocery stores. We are not gonna try to tell you which store each of these items came from, but we did wanna do a quick grocery haul of all the things that we bought. Yeah. Um, so he's gonna explain a couple of them. We got um, some different things to try uh -huh. this time, which is why we wanted to do it. So we got, we started finding this chicken, just bare. Um, this one is, this one Humane is public. certified with 180 square feet and the rotated um, pastures. And this, so this is the, uh, I guess you would say the healthiest chicken that doesn't get fed. So it only or, has chicken in it. Or grain. Yeah. Um, so we got some of those. You know my cheese wraps by now. Parmesan, two of them, a couple and two cheddars. cheddars. Yeah. He uses these to make his pizza every day for lunch. <laughs> pizza. Had to, had to refuel on the. Chop house butter seasoning. So we got two of those. They Weber, were, uh, oh my goodness, this yeah. is amazing. We, we have, They're a staple for us. We use so much of this. Um, let's see, what's new? This one's new for us this week. This is uncured beef hot dog again, grass fed, grass finished, Apple humane gate brand. raised. Mm -hmm. um, no bad antibiotics, and you can just see it's beef and salt, zero carbohydrates. I might mix these in with my ground beef and have kind of a half and half today. Mm -hmm. So there's our grass fed, grass That's finished. Michael's lunch. Uh, 90 10, not excellent. I'll probably use some butter. I know everybody talks about 80 20, so I'll probably use a little bit of butter with this. These are assorted cheeses from different stores because Joy knows whenever she goes to flute practice, I come back with stuff we've, we've never tried <laughs> before. Um, Michael's much more of a cheese eater than I am. I do like cheese, but I don't eat a lot of it. But he eats cheese every day, lots and lots of it. Yeah. So he always has a nice assortment of. New cheeses. This is probably our favorite overall is an eight. And Gouda. this one is amazing. I love this rustic red cheddar. Yeah, the red cheddar is really good. And then two brand new things we have never, ever, ever tried. Um, I found Julie a different tikka masala uh -huh. sauce. This one has no oils in it. No oils and no sugar. The carbohydrate source from here, if you look on the back, is from your dates yep. so the carbohydrates that are in this are from dates so still saying animal based i'm much more one. excited about this than the um, see, um right uh saffron saffron, saffron road, road that i've been using i'm going to use up the saffron road i have but this is much cleaner yeah. and i'm very excited the brand is masala mama i'm very excited about this in fact my my plan today was to eat a steak and when michael met me after flute practice and told <laughs> me about this that's why i had to go get the just bare chicken because i was like i have to i have to try it i'm so excited yeah. and then um Olives are animal based and I thought, you know, I've been eating pickles. That's the only thing off of carnivore, I guess, that I've been doing this week is having a crunch from a pickle. These are olives that are stuffed with, with blue cheese. Mm -hmm. And so again, these are zero carbs. Looks like 30 calories for two olives um, and a little bit of fat, two grams of yep. fat. So I may try these with um, my beef and my hot dogs today. Glass water. Glass water found them on sale. So I got a few of those. Sour cream, which I need Another because that's what I put instead of Greek yogurt in we my... We eat pounds of this stuff. Um, so much. <laughs> monthly. I mean, we, we try to use it everywhere we can. Eggs, I, I, chicken. I don't eat Greek yogurt. I just don't prefer it. I use this in my tikka masala. Is, you know, it's... Even when we were not carnivore, we yeah. weren't anything. We still had sour cream in the house every day almost. 
And then, yeah, so this is interesting, okay? Uh -huh. I'll tell you this came from Aldi. Okay. And this is the same packaging and the um, Tillamook brand, mm -hmm. but it's under a different name at Aldi. And it was like $3 cheaper for a larger size than what it was um, just the other day at Publix. So okay. this is um, their, their smoked sausage, which is, is just beef, I uh, think beef, pork, and salt. Let's see. Beef, pork, um, pork broth, salt, and granulated garlic. So there we go. For that. <laughs> this one probably can already smell everything. <laughs> Yeah, and that's that it. A, that's our grocery bit, haul. Grocery haul. Yeah. Yep. I never actually drank my tea from yesterday from Starbucks, the passion tea. So that's what I'm drinking today. What are we doing over here? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a serving size and we don't have a scale. It's a serving size is one ounce and there's nine servings in the container. So he's drunk. Okay. This is 10. How are we supposed to have, what is it, ten, three and a bite of one of these? Like, this is nine <laughs> here. Look who's smelling them. What'd you get for trying something new? So. Oh, she wants one so bad. Go on, get out of here. <laughs> here it goes. I don't taste anything spicy, do you? Mm. What about her? Is she eating it? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it's there. It, Is it, there? It just, yeah. Let me grab that Starbucks tea. <laughs> I'm gonna let you have that. Uh -huh. It's not really for me. Okay. What do you think? It's pretty good. Mix it up instead of doing pizza today. Yeah, he's already getting hungry. It's about 12:15. I'm not hungry yet, but he hasn't had lunch. This is what we're doing instead of lunch, I guess, huh? Well, not all of this, but yeah, some of this and some cheese, the leftover cheese from yesterday. I'm gonna choose to skip it, and we'll have a have our dinner here in a few hours. Maybe, maybe we do a half of one, <laughs> or do you can come back after you finish that. Okay, okay, bye bye. <laughs> I'm giving them on a scale of one to ten, ten being amazing. I'm giving them a four. <clears throat> I'll go a little higher than that because I've always been a fan of jerky. I'll go six, but you gotta remember, we grew up where Slim Jims were supposed to be the healthy option. So this <laughs> is definitely better than that. But in a pinch, traveling with the airport, yep. you know, you and I have traveled with cheese before and tried to find meat. I think this would be great to grab a pack of this and take it with mm -hmm. you, you know, carry yep. it onto the plane for sure. Yep. Yeah. And I was gonna say, um, you know, when, you, when you're traveling, especially if you travel for work or are on vacation, sometimes you kind of have to make the best choices of the options yeah. that you have. Um, so when you're in an airport or whatnot, you can look at the beef jerky and see if there's any that have, you know, safe ingredients. Um, it's usually hard to find Charlotte. at an airport. Charlotte carries that Tillamook. That's how often we've been in Charlotte's airport. I know they are the only yeah. ones when, since we've been traveling together, I think. Yeah. That carries and we, we've said this on our channel many times before. When we're traveling for work or to visit family, we. <clears throat> Um, we will some, well, when we're traveling for work, never tr try to not cheat at all. Um, oh, yeah. But when we're traveling to see friends or family, especially if we're traveling for vacation, we completely lift all of our dietary restrictions and try to experience new foods where we are when we're at new places. But we pay for it <clears throat> because our diet when we're at home and not traveling is not exactly exciting. There's not a lot of change. It's pretty, pretty much the same foods, variations on a theme, so. But if you, if we had video, from a year ago when we first tried this, I feel like we've opened up a, a yeah. totally new you, you area You just have to be this. really creative with how you season and spice your meat um, if you don't want to get and tired of it. You have to look at the ingredients. Yeah. The front of the, the front of the packaging lies, and that's one thing that we both had to learn to do more of was to turn it over and look. Yep. We just do the best we can, make the best choices we have of don't the options it. that are available. So, just wanted to throw that in here. One day at a time. It's just too pretty of a day. We don't have anywhere to go and nothing to do, so we're just gonna ride around. Ride around it's with not, the top down, right? It's not hardly warm enough to be on the beach or at the pool. No. So we went and spent like an hour just driving south of where we are on a Yesterday. Yesterday, so we're gonna do the Today same. Today we're just gonna ride around right north. up north. Yeah. Take a little dog with us and get some sunshine, that's important. And uh, 
And then just come back for the record, Michael's always driving in our videos. That's not because oh. I'm not allowed to drive. He always asks wow. me if I want to drive. No. I no, always no. say, no, I'm lazy. I get chauffeured <laughs> everywhere I go. So let's go have a good time. This is what you call a Jeep hair, don't care. <laughs> He's got gel in his. Yes. We're back, it's, uh, it's almost four o'clock and we're hungry, so we're gonna make our dinner now. <laughs> I have about 14 ounces of the chicken. I'm gonna put tikka masala mix on because I'm just really on a tikka masala kick. And you trying the new kind? The new yeah, okay. I'm gonna try the new kind he got okay. today for me at one of the many grocery stores we went to. <laughs> And uh, what are you having? I'm doing a half a pound of the ground beef, so two hamburgers. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to make two of those hot dogs. And then we were going to cook up the rest of that sausage from yesterday and probably split it. So yeah. three and three. I forgot. I, I want some of the sausage yeah. from yesterday. It was great. So and that's what we're going to have. And the olives. I'm going to yep. try some of those olives. Yep. So Julie hates olives, but I'm going to try some. And this is my 14 ounces of chicken that I cooked large dollop of sour cream. I made it a little bit runnier than I meant to, but that's okay. It makes a great soupy taste. Also put some spices in it and that spice pack that I showed you earlier, Michael got for me today. That's gonna be my lunch. All right, and here we go. Three little sausages for me and my 14 ounces of chicken and tikka masala mix. Michael has two hot dogs, two hamburgers, and three sausages. Some of his homemade dips to dip them in and cheese. Oh, and his pickles. And olives, I forgot you were doing olives today, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the dog she wants to go out. I just wanted to say our dinner was great. Um, you didn't eat much. I had one olive. Yeah. It, it's an acquired taste and it doesn't go with burgers and hot dogs <laughs> not that they weren't good because i do like olives but i think it's more about eating those maybe on your on your own but the rest was great the rest was great i ate all of my chicken except about four pieces which i let abra have because she always gets some of my leftovers the sausage is amazing that's got to be added to yeah, our that rotation was yeah, that just, was yeah. really good sausage and um so now we're going to go walk the dog it sounds like she wants to go out and we'll check back in later. All we have left is our kombucha for today. Yeah. So this is it. I think that's a wrap. Tonight. That's what we ate and drank. Cheers with our kombucha. January the 7th, 2023. Have a good night. Happy World Carnivore Month, guys. <laughs>